Oh my god. Oh god, that's a metal hatchet right there. Jesus Christ, actually, that is really, really good. Mad good. I'm buzzing off that, oh my god. What a kill, what a kill. Poor guy had so much shit on him. That's the thing with farming at night time, you see. You don't expect people to be out, like I do. I don't. I go out at night just to farm. So I don't expect anybody to roll up on me and kill me, but... Poor... Oh my god, 229 scrap. Oh my god. I have to get home. Cheers, old base. Long time no see. What a way to start today's episode, guys. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pumped right now. What's up everybody? As you can see we've got a few base renovations going, so welcome to the episode. I guess it's time to get into it. I First things first, before we do anything else, I want to research the hatchet, which is why I've built this little add-on to our starter base here, because we kind of need the room. So I want to research this. This is our first blueprint of the white, which is pretty cool. Um, massive love to you guys. Thank you so much for all the love in the, on the last video. You guys fucking rock. Um, thanks for all the likes and the comments. Most of all to these guys here. Thank you very much, guys. You're incredible. Thank you so much for all your comments these days, dudes. You just... You keep me so motivated. Alright. Time to get into this episode. Let's go... And kill some fools. Oh. Typical. Bloody typical. As soon as you get it, you find it. But... There you go. Good hatches. Always great for breaking barrels, I suppose. Oh, if only we had swords. If only we had the blueprint. My god. We could raid this guy so easy. Oh, that's annoying. Can you still see through the gaps of wood ceilings? Yeah, apparently you can. Because you can't look through the gaps in uh, wood walls anymore, can you? Hey ho, we'll move on. Why can't I grab his bow? The fuck? Weird, alright. Go down here. You run into that base. I'm not a huge fan of these big rock formations. I know that I know they're new and they're more like how you'd expect it to be, sort of out in the wild. But at the same time, it makes like big maps ten times bigger because you've got to traverse all these high peaks and stuff. What do you guys think of them? Do you guys like them? I mean, it, aesthetically they look really nice, but after that, functionally wise, they're just annoying. Guys, straight ahead, we're really quite like like four or five hours into wipe now. So it's still tricky if anybody's not wearing clothing and they claim they're a fresh spawn or a naked, you just don't know anymore. No, nope. there's a guy with a bow and crossbow. Oh, is this a crossbow crossbow fight? There's two guys against one. If I kill this guy, then the two guys roll up on me. That's all I want. Oh my god, I'm all the way at dome? The fuck have I gone here? Oh, I have cocked up big time. I am very, 
very far from home right now. Too far from home, actually. And I have a good pickaxe that I have to get home. Oh god, I'm going the wrong way as well. I have to go that way, but it's... Oh god, it's back towards those two guys, with both with crossbows. I don't really have a choice. I've got to go right through the middle of the map here. Oh my god, where am I going? Well, I'm tempted to hit dome while I'm here. I... Uh, this pickaxe is, in fire, is so valuable. I know it sounds silly. Because a lot of you guys probably think, oh, but you find pickaxes a dime a dozen. They're really easy to get. No. No, they're not. Not for a little solo player that hides out on the edge of the map. No. I need this right now. I've got the hatchet already. This pickaxe is going to be huge. Alrighty. In base we are. Splendid. Okay, first things first. Let's research this pickaxe. This gives us both tools, guys. Awesome start. It's a real sense of accomplishment getting both tools. I don't know why. It just always is. It just always feels so good. Right. I'm going to take a bit of a rust break, give my eyes a rest. So, might go and play player on no battlegrounds or something. So, let's hope, come tomorrow and the rest of this episode, we haven't been raided. I'll top up these fern eye, and then we're good to go. Alright, guys. So, we are jumping in a new, a new day. And I am just hit some barrels. I'm going to go recycle some odds and sods after we hit the harbour up. I am live streaming right now on YouTube. If you guys don't follow my streams, make sure to hit that notification bell down below so you get notified when I do stream. Got 300 people watching right now. Um, so yeah, let's hope I don't fuck up. Love it. Seuss donated $10 for Super Chat. I can't, dude. I can't. I don't want to get stream snipled. It'll be horrendous. Right, I'm just um, researching the sword right now, so we can go and do some um, like budget raids on wood doors, wood walls, and things because they're really good. And I've got a, I've got a couple of blades. I'm not quite sure though, but it's a good little thing to know among the good stuff. Green box maybe. Oh, normal box. What system do you like best? Uh, original component system, I think. Original component system. This one's uh, this one's all right, but nothing in there. I, I, I liked the components when it first came out, when you could, like, craft absolutely everything. That was definitely my favourite system, I think. Anything in here? Uh, no. Alright, alright, alright. Let's make our way... Oh, I could... Res uh, no. There's nothing to recycle. Let's make our way back home. And a green box. Pipes, come on. Give a man something worthwhile, game. When you hit barrels and stuff now, and you get two um, things instead of one scrap, so much better. So, so much better. I need to stack things so much better, boys. Uh, oh, we got seven blades. Actually, we are crushing this. Ah. A wood door with a backwards wall. Ah, and then there's a upstairsy bit. I don't think I could get up there, though. I don't have ladders. And I'm only one guy. So if we get it, seven or eight swords then we can, if, it, if that doesn't do it, we can just yoke a pistol. Be fine. There might be nothing, there'll probably be nothing behind it, but who cares? Who cares? With the fact that the re repair bench now doesn't really need wood or anything, and it's just metal frags, it'll be easy to repair these swords now. All right, guys, so I've come during the night, found this wood door, so I'm going to try and get through it with some swords. I've got plenty, so here's hoping. It's already a bit damaged, though, which has me a bit worried, but we'll see. Oh, no, it's not. It's the wall that's damaged. I am worried that perhaps there may be a shotgun turret behind here. That is my only fear. But there are stairs? So if the stairs go upstairs, maybe we can do something? I don't know. We're, we're going to see here. This is going to be literally a trial and error. If there's something behind this door, then that's banter. If we can get upstairs and pick up stairs or something, even better. If when we get satchels, we can come back and read it. But long way off yet. Right, we're almost through. Here we go. Last hit. Oh, no, okay. Sword didn't want to die. Hello, hello, hello. And there's nothing up here. Oh, fuck, there's a fucking window here. I wouldn't have been able to get in anyway, but... Okay, so there's nothing up here. So this is just... What is it? It's a big base, though, bros. Through there... It's a big base. What are the foundations say? Foundations are all stone. They are full health. Okay. Why has he built that then? What a melt. Makes me wanna feel your groove. Something about the way you're crispy.